Some of us are some really nasty motherfuckers. We are some really nasty ass people. We really, really are. Case in point, if you just click this video, what you did, if you hear me talking right now, you seen that image that you clicked for the title of this video. You seen that black woman with that mop on her head, that yellow mop on her head, and that old ass white man. She's 24 years old in that picture. And she says, I'm 24 and my husband is 85. Y'all some sick fucking people. Really sick. That's all I'm going to tell you. We got black women out here, Africans, African Americans, who will fuck with these white guys, these old ass white dudes, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, just because they got money. Money truly does make somebody attractive because I don't see how any black woman who looks half decent or even looks beautiful would be with a ugly ass old man that really can't even do anything for you anymore. Viagra can't even help this motherfucker. But you out here taking pictures saying, oh, this is my husband. Can you imagine? And we've just, I've just told you, but if a woman is watching this, a black woman is watching this, can you imagine getting on Facebook, getting on Instagram and saying, oh yeah, I'm 24 and this is my 65, my 85 year old husband. Really? A white man? Even if it's a black man, but still, what? What the fuck can he even do besides give you money? And of course you have to satisfy him because if you don't satisfy him, you're not getting that monetary gain. And then I see some black men with some old ass white women too, and it's crazy. And I know they all doing this for money, but y'all are some sick ass people because I would never in my life lay down with some old ass person. Old enough to be my great great grandpa or great 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 grandmother. Money make y'all motherfuckers do some sick ass shit. And it's embarrassing. It's another it's just an I'm not I'm not kicking my people when they're down. I'm not even throwing them under the bus, but I am a, putting people aware. Like I said, that word aware in my other video, I'm making you aware of what a lot of us are doing, and it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. You got African women out here, African American women out here, African American men, African men marrying these old ass white people just for their money. But they got to do things to get that money, to ensure that that money is theirs. It is sick. It's very sick. And when I see couples like that saying, oh, love is love. Yeah, no, 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 no. What am I going to I told you guys that I'm attracted to older chicks. But at this point, the age that I am, maybe 60 might be the most. Because I do see some 60 year olds that look decent. But what the fuck am I going to do with someone that's in their 80s? I don't even want that. That's disgusting to me. What the fuck am I going to do with that? I don't know. I, mean, I tell you, it's just like it gets worse and worse. And I'm not trying to come on here and talk about the most negative shit. When I come on here, like I said, I told you what my end game was. If you watch my other videos, my end game is about us being together. Stop acting like fools and loving each other. We keep loving the enemy. Loving the enemy because what? The, the Bible says love thy enemy. No, I'm not going to love my enemy. I'm sorry. So I'm afraid that God will have to forgive me for that. And if he doesn't, then I'm afraid that he just won't forgive me because I'm never going to love an enemy of mine. I'm not turning the other cheek. I'm not loving my enemy. I'm not praying for my enemy. I, the, my enemy gets nothing from me but disgust. And I won't even give him hatred, but they'll get disgust from me. I don't want to be nowhere around you. I don't want you. We're never going to be friends in the story. But you people who know who your enemies are, are still hopping in bed with them. Even the older ones you're hopping in bed with. It is some sick shit. And you should be embarrassed. You really should. I don't give a damn how much money that person got. I don't give a damn how much money you getting from that person being with them. You should be embarrassed to be in a relationship like that. You look disgusting. Black men out here walking around with these old ass hags. And these black women over here walking around with these old ass men that are on fucking life support. Looking like you they aid, but you really they wife. That's some sick shit. Some sick fucking shit. What is wrong with our people? What the fuck is wrong with you people, man? I've never seen you fall this low in my life until I've until I've gotten older in my older years. 
seen all this fucking crazy shit. I know we did some dumb shit before, where we just fucking with the enemy and shit like that. And oh, I want to experiment. So let me just have one white boy or two white boys or three white girls under my belt, just to say that I experimented. Now y'all motherfuckers full blown going after old ass. The, the, oh God, man, old ass decrepit people with money, and that money makes you do what you do. Like I said, and I'm going to say it again like a broken record before I end this video because ain't much I got to say about this no more. You are disgusting for messing with these people, for messing with these old ass people that cannot do anything for you in the bedroom. They can only do something for you monetary, which I'm sure that's most of what y'all want. But still, you have to do things for them in the bedroom in order to make them happy so you can keep getting your monetary gain. Oh, it's, it just it disgusts and sickens me to, to, to just imagine. And I don't even want to imagine, but like, you know, some of these, these women are fucking beautiful and they're wasting their life with these old ass dudes. And some of these men are way too young to be messing with these old ass ladies when they can find someone a lot younger or someone their own age. But money is that important to you that you'll do that? Never. That could never be me. Never.